Hey, what's up? It's Jacob. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Well, every week I go to a store and review everything. And I either end the business or make the business go up 500% net profit. Today, I invited my brother Lucas along. Well, most of the time, I always invite my brother Lucas along. Hey, guys. Someone gave me this idea. I'm filming this on my phone in the, in the comments on my phone. So I need to get the comment and then I'll... Uh, uh, something, BRB? Okay. Yeah, be right back. Someone commented, go to antique stores and find the weirdest stuff possible. That sounds like a great idea. Three people agreed, and um, I think those three people are probably the most intellectual people in the world. I've been to one antique store. It was actually this antique, big-ass building. I didn't find anything because it seems like you get stuff for your house, and I don't own a house. So it's like, why would I get anything? But I, I still have high hopes. What about you? Um, I've been to an antique store, too. Taylor Swift goes to antique stores a lot, so... Can you say it faster? I'm holding it up with my hand and my hand's saw. Oh, isn't this sort of like cottage core? The whole movement online where you try to pretend you live in an old cottage? When I picture my my house in the future, if houses still exist, there could be a world like we all live in like little portal parties. So I remember watching, I don't know what video it was, but it really inspired me to like have one of those old houses that like has a bunch of old shit in it. And it kind of is smelly, but in a good way. That's kind of my dream, and it sounds so... I just picture waking up and feeling very cozy and loved by my house, but what were you gonna say? But that just reminds me of the Dita Von Teese, um Architectural Digest video. It's all cool and cute, but like, that oven would suck. Like, imagine trying to preheat it. Wouldn't it take forever? I'd just rather get modern appliances. You have that aesthetic of you live in the olden days, but then you Uber Eats of email. I don't know what I'm gonna find in this store. If for some reason I do find a couch, I don't know if it's gonna fit in the back. Like, if I do find a couch, I, I won't. It probably won't happen, but it could. How much longer? <laughs> 12 minutes. <laughs> Smile. You're on camera with 100 million viewers. I am. There is a like, chance this could get 100 million views. I am smiling. It looks like you're uncomfortable. Oh, that's just my neutral face. Okay, we need to stop filming. I'm sweating, and I turned off the AC for you guys. So, um, I don't know if I can keep doing this for you guys. And by you guys, I mean you. And while you read that bumper sticker, we are listening to an ass-clapping song. I mean, it kind of put a damp on my day, but I get where they're coming from. Yeah. I get where they're coming from. But then again, like, if, if the God that I believe in, like, listening to ass clapping songs is innocent. I just, I just don't see what could be so bad about it. Yeah, because, like, it's all just about joy at the end of the day. Joy to the world! <laughs> Welcome back to HGTV, and today we're renovating a house, and we're gonna go to Timeless Treasures to look at some antiques for the house. Wait, this is so cool. Do you feel the warm air? I'm not kidding. It's, ever since I turned on this fire, warm air is coming out of the vents. Yup, this is an ad. Oh Tesla's. my god. What can't this car do? Elon Musk is so hot and sexy. Is it on? Yeah. Okay, change of plans. We're at a new place because my ex-husband that I thought died was at that place, but I guess he's still alive. We are back from that antique store. We probably spent 10 minutes inside, I got two items. I just want to let you guys be warned that I am a scaredy cat. I'm a certified scaredy cat. <laughs> so, it was kind of creepy vibes inside of there. I mean, it reminded me of my grandma's house, except I don't know this grandma, so it felt creepy. Yeah, I guess that's just the vibe of every antique store. You were gonna buy some Raggedy Ann dolls in a wooden box, but then you got scared they might actually be haunted. It's a funny joke being like, are they haunted? Let's go in the bathroom and say Bloody Mary. But then, I'm not gonna keep those dolls. I'm gonna end up giving them to Goodwill, and they're gonna be in my vehicle for like 10 minutes. I'm oh, just yeah, scared. then you're haunted. Yeah, like, if hauntings are real, I don't want it be, I don't want it be haunted. 
Oh, for sure, I get you. Every time you go into an antique store, though, it feels like you're walking onto an episode from Hoarders, though. I kind of feel like claustrophobic in there, you know what I mean? And Lucas informed me that this was an antique store where there's dealers, so each pout someone owns. Is that what you mean? I think. I think, like, people rented out little sections. It's kind of cool. They're all from different people, like, they're little antiques. There's also a spa in the background. In the back? Yeah. Yeah, we did get, it. like, a massage or a facial. We didn't go all the way to the back because I kept getting, like, a vibe that we were going to get trapped. Poor movie vibes. But then again, the place was great. It had great reviews. Oh, yeah. I mean, as I said, I'm just um, a scary cop. <laughs> There's nothing scary to be said. To be done at that show. It just is, I made it up. Probably should I keep talking about it people are going to think I'm insane or something. <laughs> there was this pot that looked really old that someone probably cooked some ramen noodles in. Back in like the pilgrim days, like someone bought some craft macaroni and cheese and made some, made some food in there. That's I know, cool. I love what those mummies connected to. Yeah. Me. There was also this thing that looked like a, a computer, but not so... I do kind of believe that there's time travelers. What is that? With all that being said, we're going to another antique store to try to find some other goodies. Yeah. See if there's anything else that is worth buying for my soul. <laughs> we just went to this store and it ended up being closed. But I tried to pull the door open still and it wasn't unlocked. So it's closed. Sorry. <sighs> Full up. It has been three hours. We went to how many antique stores? Um, one, two, three, like five or four. We've been antiquing. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. While we were browsing these antique stores, I started to realize what am I going to get from these antique stores? I was picturing me walking into these stores and there would be like a bunch of like, Mac and cheese, <laughs> like frozen hot dogs from the 1950s. But it was more of, all these antique stores are basically decorations for your house, which yeah. is obviously great, but that's not what I was looking for. A bunch for. of junk, but like it was cute, but like just junk, but like your junk is somebody else's treasure. You almost got ahead though. Yeah, I was very close. We were, we were at this antique store that I got good vibes from. I was yeah. like, okay, we'll pop locking dropping it. And there was this mannequin head that was $12 that I so badly wanted to get, but I couldn't muster up the courage because it reminded <laughs> me of one of those true crime things on like TLC or something where they say, yeah, we didn't know he was a killer. We just know he bought this mannequin head from the antique <laughs> store a few weeks before. Yeah, you didn't want to face the cash register lady. It sounded too uncomfortable only buying a mannequin head. But they're the ones who have it for sale. She was very cute. The, the mannequin head? Yeah. It was a boy, wasn't it? I guess who cares at the end of the day. But I consider it a girl. Oh. But we didn't ask her, so we don't know. If this video was... Oh, I just bought a house and I'm redoing it. I yeah. would have bought this mail. It was Oh, that is chic. Yeah, it looked very cool and um How I much do you think myself. it was? Probably like 50? Urban Outfitters would sell that exact same mirror and make it like 250. Ridiculous. When you shop at Urban, you think that you're splurging, but I'm in the Rolls Royce Urban. <laughs> While I'm watching these videos that we took at the antique store, it makes me wonder, do people, or do like, do manufacturers even make things like this anymore? So much of it is so colorful and elaborate. Stuff that is made today, like at Target, it'll never be in an antique store even in a hundred years because it's just so shittily yeah, made. Yeah, like that tree back there yeah. isn't going to be an antique store because it no, just won't. Shit. It won't. Who would buy that? I feel like anything that you buy on Amazon is never going to be in an antique no. store. No. I'm just going to do a little montage of all the creepy shit I found at these, um, antique stores. Viewer discretion is advised. I just have to know if these types of dolls are actually scary or are they just scary because of all the stupid scary movies about them? All it's supposed to be is a toy for a child. And back then kids did play with it and they, they weren't scared. But now we just think back to ding, 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 it's always in scary movies and stuff. So like, it, is that why we find it scary? That's some stuff to think about. It makes you dink. <laughs> <laughs> I felt uncomfortable looking at this trinket. Isn't, like... Is it just a candle? 
Yeah, it's a candle, but it doesn't look like a candle. A candle with a, a bunny penis. sliding down it. It's a penis candle. I love how they had silverware there. You like, imagine how many mouths it's been in. That's kind of interesting. Oh yeah, walking through all these antique stores reminded me of when we had to clean up our grandparents' house because they oh, moved into yeah. old folks' home. And they had like forks that were like antique. Yeah. Plates that were antique. All this other stuff that's antique. Even China. Not like the country, but um, like China, oh. China plates. Yeah. Like I think that's also a thing of the past. When any of our sisters have gotten married, no one um gave them China. But that used to be a thing where like, if you got married, you'd get China. But it's like, it's just, I feel like nowadays people don't care about stuff like that, you know? People just love throwing stuff away. Yeah, it's like, so I'm gonna have fancy plates that I have to hand wash? It's like, I'd rather just use plastic plates. Actually put in the comments, is China over? Yeah, if you've gotten married in the last 15 years, did you get China? Am I wrong And it? Maybe our family's just white trash. Yeah, that could be the case. Time for a haul! Yes, antique store house with only two things, but you know, two treasures. That are now added to Jacob's life. Yep. Okay, my thoughts just clenched. I spent $14 at every single antique store we went to. Every, how did you notice that? Every one said, everything's on sale. Oh yeah, so it's a gimmick. Obviously nothing's on sale, they just, like, okay, on Amazon. I remember when I found that out, I was wow. Oh, it says it's on sale? Yeah, everything on Amazon for my, like, everything that I see on Amazon says it's on sale. Oh, I've, t yeah. I've come to realize that nothing's all on sale. It's all mine. First of all, in this black bag that I ripped already, we got a Pepsi Star Wars Episode One. This was two thousand dollars. Oh yeah, you dropped it. <laughs> no, it was fifteen dollars. I didn't even know this was a Star Wars theme. So it's this Pepsi can, and the cashier informed us that it was from the year two thousand. Yeah, it said she remembered it, but I wasn't born in two thousand. Yeah, because you're 13, right? Yeah. I love this Wait! antique store. I've it's older than you. It is. That is weird. And you're now going to drink it. Are you? Oh, well, we were joking in the car. She's like, we're going to drink it. And she was like, she probably said, not. She said, please don't. Is that really offensive, though, to like the fans of this if you pour it out? That's what I was kind of thinking. I guess you bought it. Like, if you're offended, like, why didn't you buy it? But then, again, <laughs> what if when I'm 60, this is worth like a million dollars? But well, you still, you'll probably throw it away by We then. know in 50 years, this is going to be a BuzzFeed aqua. It'll be me and Lucas identify. Oh, yeah. These dumbass kids threw away $15 yeah. million so that, dollars a can or something. That was the funny thing about these antique stores, which I know like they're technically just a thrift store, so something could even be from a year ago. But since they were labeled as antique stores, I, I was expecting some stuff to be more old than it was. Like I, yeah. saw, I saw a 27 Dresses movie poster. That movie came out in like 2010. And there was a Bo Bonham um, eighth grade movie. That came out like three years ago. Yeah, I watched that movie because like a few years ago. So it must be like antiques and then small print, like also just a thrift store. Also like Goodwill, yeah. Yeah, so don't get too mad. There isn't any calories listed in this. <gasps> this was no before. Oh, it says when it was overdue on the back. July, would it be? It would be overdue in July in the year 2000. So this probably is from the 90s. Is it okay to drink a 15 year old Coke? Cans, however, are lined with materials that can degrade with age and mix with the liquid and may contain materials that aren't good for your health. But I do a bunch of other stuff that's not good for my health. It won't make you sick. Um, I guess there's someone called the Cinema Snob, and they regularly drink expired sodas, like 20-year-old plus Pepsi. Oh, it said that if it's in a can, that's it. Then people are saying avoid it if it's a can. Should we pull it in now? Mm. Okay. I just, you can pull it. And it goes, I don't want to touch it. it. Oh, you don't? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Wait, Jacob, it looks like you're not going to open it. Is it going to explode or something? Just try it. That was a bullet! <laughs> a bullet flew out. <laughs> It smells like actual just no more Coke. Mm, Pepsi, I mean. That is insane. I'm gonna put it up to the camera for when smaller vision is um invented. I'll put it up for the camera, they can't see it. Wow. I was expecting something crazy if I'm being honest. Yeah, this literally, you might be going to a restaurant and they're giving away like Pepsi from 1999. Wait, we didn't even. This is so much smaller than nowadays, too. Well, I think that's, it was like a mini, right? Oh. Uh, I'm assuming, unless people were literally that skinny back then. I'm assuming if I took a sip, nothing's gonna happen, but I'm not going to just for yeah, the sake. Yeah, I don't wanna like, in a week from now, be a little bit tired and be like, why did I drink that Pepsi and all the metals in my body now? Oh, I just randomly think next week, 
I feel like I can't think the way that I yeah, used to think. Yeah, a bit like, dumber. Yeah, I mean, it's because of this Coke can. Let's give this item a review. That idea is so cool. Yeah. And like, I would just keep this on my kitchen shelf for like vintage moment, but opening it is like, I rate yeah. it on um, 6 out of 10, it's cool. I guess. Yeah, I would give it like a 7 out of 10 because the price is a little bit steep, but the experience was fun. This was more expensive than like glass Coke bottles. But that Star like... Wars. Yeah, so. I've I mean, never seen Star Wars. Yeah, I know everyone loves it though. Yeah, no one in our family has seen Star Wars. I know. That's like... why I believe the Mandela effect because like in our universe, it didn't exist. Yeah, okay, and there's like other TV shows that everyone loves. Well, everyone, no one is, there's literally 10 people in our family and no one has watched it, so it's like. Wait, were we just like out of the loop or what? I know, no one in our family has watched Friends. It's so weird. I know, like something's off. Okay, cool, on to the last thing that we got. <laughs> I looked it up and this three little kittens was manufactured in 1964. So this is actually like all as. This also costed 15 cents when it was released. How much did you pay? Um, I basically bought it for one dollar more. It, I bought it for one dollar and twenty cents. Oh, so it's not that exclusive. So why'd you buy this? <laughs> um, I bought it because I, uh, I felt like it was gonna teach us a lesson. Yeah, I feel like we should um, we should read it because no, like something drew you to it. Let's read the little fifteen second story. Yeah, and there was a bunch of stuff in this that I felt like did belong to me in a past life. So maybe this did belong. Oh to me. yeah. Yeah, I was like, I bought this when I was like 40 for my kid in 1964 and like, yeah. and it used to be mine. Let's just act like about the library for a little bit. Oh, I'm- The three little kids. Oh. Uh -huh. I hate it when the teachers did that. They always did it for so long. It's I like, know, I'm like, not that dumb. Now I already forgot what you were talking about. Three little kittens lost their mittens and they began to cry. It sounds like a song. I know it rhymes, I love it. What does that mean again? Oh, Mother Dale, we very much fail that we have lost our mittens. Oh, the mom's gonna beat them for losing the mittens. Last your mittens, you naughty kittens, then you shall have no pie. Oh, teaching kids that there's consequences if you lose your valuable items. I love that. Meow, meow, meow. No, you should have no pie. Meow, meow, meow. How come now they're speaking cat language and before they were speaking English? Cause they're bilingual. The three little kittens found their mittens and they began to cry. Wait, they're crying when they found them now? T tears of joy or what? Poo, poo, poo. Oh, let's have the pie. Okay, this is way too long. It's actually long. Like, this actually be like, take a week. Yeah, so basically the, that was the simplest story. The last page is, washed your mittens. Oh, you're good kittens. But I smell a rat close by. <gasps> so basically another problem arose at the end of the book. No, they were gonna kill the rat. Cats kill rats. The end was a murder. Oh, that's sad. This book I'm going to actually rate. I'm reading a 9 out of 10. I, yeah. I read it to my kids, I guess. I do enjoy stories where animals are being human, kind of. I love that. Yeah, because we all know like when we go to bed, they all eat. I know! For sure. That's the entire antique how, um, I know we didn't get much, but you know what? Quality over quantity! Thumbs up for that! You can subscribe to both of our YouTube channels. Links below! We also have a podcast. Link below. Thanks for the idea, the person who sent me this idea, and um... Goodbye, Z's. Bye!